Hey, everybody. Leah Farmer 73. What y'all doing? <laughs> I wanted to show y'all something. Everybody is buying fruit trees right now. And it's a couple of tips that I, I know that may just help you. What is one of the worst things about a fruit tree? I'm going to show you that. Here's my problem. The LSU gold fig. This is my favorite fig tree out of all figs ever. Here's the problem. A couple years ago, there was a big giant bush growing right here and I air layered it off. Let's check out what I did. I also did a giant pot. I did a giant pot graph. I did it the same way. I cut the bark down. See, that's, that's the trunk of the tree, the main trunk. So what I did was cut the side of the pot out so I can just slip this big pot of soil right on the whole trunk of the tree. And as the tree coming through the pot, I filled it back up with soil. Wow, that's growing a big giant pot of roots, right? Look, I'm getting fruit. I already got another tree coming. It's a win-win situation. Here it is now. That's it. The problem is, now I gotta reach up and get a ladder to get my fruit now off of this thing. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna teach y'all a little thing called notching. Notching is when you have a big long trunk on your fruit tree, it's a way to get all of that stuff to start that branching down low, to get that stuff down low so you can reach the fruit. It's really easy on a pear, peach, and an apple. And I'm gonna show you how. Check it out. On every tree, they have these nodes. Some are more distinctive than others, but they have these nodes around a tree. It might not have this line like a fig tree, but it'll have a nice distinctive node somewhere on that trunk. So notching is when you cut right above that node and you cut off the flow to the cambium layer that's running all the fluids and nutrients up and down that trunk. That's running it all the way up there. But nothing is happening down here. This is just a super highway now. So you're gonna cut right over top of that node. And when you do that, you stop the flow of that nutrients getting to the top. Now don't cut all the way around because we still want that nutrients going to the top, okay? Just right over that node and make sure it's nice and deep and get down to the, the white meat and make sure it's about an eighth of an inch wide. That way the cambium layer is surely to be cut off. When you do that, this is what happens. As you can see, this is the result of me notching, and I did this maybe a month ago. This is what happens. When I cut that center out, notched it just like I just showed you up here. Now, I just did that one yesterday. I notched that one, I notched that, and I notched this one. So this way, I got lower riding branches so I can reach the fruit now. When those branch out, they're gonna bush out, but I can reach that fruit. So I notched it all the way around. We're going to do this one right here, okay? So hang tight. I'm gonna show you the best I can. All right, take my old trusty blade. Make sure you sanitize it. Wipe it off. Let me make sure you can see. Yep, right over top of that node. I am just going to simply wrap my knife all the way around, maybe about, watch all the juices start flowing out. That's that highway I was telling you about. Rock that all the way down. Don't be gentle with it. And then we'll take, go up about an eighth of an inch and do it again. Let's go up a little more than that, yeah, and do it again. Rock it all the way. That, that node is wide, so we making it wide. Okay? Now you cut the sides off like this. 
This is also a good way to graph too. It's called a bud graph. That's for later. Now you just dig that on out. Get it to the white meat. Open that all the way up. And then scrape that wood. We don't want none of this green tissue left. We want to totally cut that off. Just like a spoiled rich kid. Could you cut off? Mommy, no. Now, this is the result of that. You see the green in here? That's called the cambium layer. When you're grafting, that's what you want touching each other. You want the green touching the other green of the piece you're about to put on. So, that's what we want to do. I just notched this. Well, we just notched that. And now, what you're going to get is branching right over top of the nodes, just like this. Just like this. See that? So soon we'll have bushes coming down from the bottom so we can reach the fruit and leave this stuff up here to mother nature, the birds and everything else that want to have at it. That way they eat some, we eat some. All right. Is that easy, you guys? That is notching at its best. Simple to make your tree branch down lower. Now I'm going to show you the results of that. Let's go down this way. This is what notching looks like after one year. This is my Saturn peach tree. This is the one that had the wasp in it, remember? Okay, this peach tree, in the video, it broke. The branches broke. Let me see, you can't even really look at all of that. She just broke. And I end up cutting them off, but before I cut those two big Y branches off, I notched this. I notched this tree right over top of there where you see that fencing at i notched it and this branch came out the side and as you can see now this how big it's grown if you need more branches this is how you get them all right so layer farmer 73 i hope we all learned something today that's going to help you grow more food and reach your food without getting a ladder and breaking your neck. All right, Leo Farmer 73, I love you and I'm out.